What? Mrs. Jung, tomorrow is Saturday, and I hope you'll be free that day. And I'll move my schedule and solve some things in the morning. So I think I can be free. I'm busy. I'm working tomorrow. Or rather, I meant I have plans with friends. Mum, if those are the friends I've already seen, I wouldn't mind joining them. Even though we're doing this out of order, and we've already slept together and I'd propose to you. Let's start with the first date. But I don't want to. You know, totally irresponsible of you. So how can my not wanting to go on a date with you be an irresponsible act? If it weren't for our child together, I would think you just don't like me. Still, it feels like you don't want to make the slightest effort at all. Mrs. Jung understand, I want our child to receive love from both parents and to grow up in a full family. So we have to get married. But you yourself said that the wedding has to be only for love, didn't you? If we want to see if we can fall in love, of course we have to get to know each other better first and start seeing each other more often. I suggest we go on a date first. I think that's the least we can do for Dujol. I think tomorrow is a great day to go on a first date. He one doesn't know what to answer. Okay, I agree. But I need to clarify something. Know that just because I agreed to a date doesn't mean that I'm ready to marry you. I understand. That's enough at this point. Um, okay. Sometimes I think he's the kind of man who always gets things done. Mine ran lies resting in his apartment. And then the doorbell rings. Oh, he won, is that you? I have to tell you something, I know who he is. Wang Mai Ran, of course I understand, but even if you two had a fight, you should have at least opened the door for him. I saw that he was sitting on the stairs outside. Minwook, come on, come inside. Minwook feels a little uncomfortable because of his earlier fight with Mai Ran. He won, nothing matters now except what I'm about to tell you. Please sit down. I found out who the baby's father is. In fact, I saw something familiar about him. I'm scared to tell you this. Anyway, he's the vice president of the Da Han Group. Oh, really? I don't get it. That's your whole reaction? Did you hear what I just told you? Hey, he's the chairman of your school. Yeah, he is. I don't understand. You don't believe me, do you? What's more, my father told me that he's about to become the head of the company. Even last year, my father introduced us at the Da Han Group fundraiser. When exactly last year? December 31st. That's the day you invited me to watch the bells ring. Korea has a bell ringing ceremony that takes place on New Year's Eve. Hmm, is that why you ignored me then to meet another man? Come on Minwook. It's not what you think. Actually, her father forced her to go to that meeting. But she really said she didn't want to go there. Minwook didn't really believe what Hee Won just said while covering for her friend. Myran, I want to talk to you alone. He won went out into the other room. Mai Ran closed the door behind her. Minwook, here's the thing anyway. I'm sorry I lied that day, but believe me, I didn't do it on purpose. I really wanted to go to that bell ceremony with you. You know my father well enough, I couldn't have done otherwise. But I don't know if he's worried about me, or if he only thinks about himself. Either way, his insistence knows no bounds. Especially, it was not a blind date. But my father was very persistent and said he would come and drag me home if I didn't go. Myran, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about at all. Let's talk about what happened yesterday. Oh, okay, come on. Yeah, I know you've heard this before, but he won and I grew up together. We're like brother and sister. Especially since our moms are pretty close. He won's mom would often let her go with us to the movie theater or to the amusement park or something. I want to point out that when he won first came to my house, she didn't laugh at all. Do you know what her first words were? Auntie, tell me, did my mother give up on me? At that moment, my mother didn't expect to hear that from he won. My mother said that if she had cried, those words wouldn't have been so sad. You know, I actually feel like I know what she meant by that. Minwook, is that what you wanted to tell me? Hmm, well, sort of yeah. You see, I want to let you know that he one is my family. She's like my sister, you could even say she's like my twin. Don't get me wrong, I never thought of he one as a woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mai Ran remains silent. Minwook is still waiting to hear what Mai Ran has to say. Heh, I see. Mai Ran, I'm telling you that I think of he one as my family, protecting her out of habit. 
If it hurts you, I'll try to make amends. I never thought it would turn out this bad. But my Ran, I realize that I owe it to you to love you even more. Minwook, I don't understand why you decided to tell me this so suddenly. The point is that it looks like my business will fail before it even officially opens. Because of our conflicts and because you stopped talking to me, I couldn't focus on work. Something tells me that if Cholgan finds out I was here, he'll probably kill me. Hmm, then just die. You're so mean. Say, you're not mad at me anymore? I don't know, we'll see. Myran, do you want to see something? Minwook touches his hand to Myran's face. I really want to kiss you. Hey, are you out of your mind? There's he one in the living room. I know. That's why it's only going to be a kiss. They started kissing. Minwook plopped Myran down on the bed. Hey, you told me it was just going to be a kiss. What are you doing here? What the hell? A little later, he one walks down the street. Mai Ran and Minwook appear from around the corner, who are secretly watching her. He one walks along with Du Jum Kang. About your friends, I don't remember them being able to join us. I'm sorry, I happen to have told them everything, but they're some weirdos. Last night, Mai Ran and Minwook kept asking me about Du Jung Kang. Come on, tell us what happened. And most importantly, with all the details. Then I told them how he found out he was the father. Well, and that Du Jung Kang would take responsibility and offered to marry him. And then, of course, I told him about the date tomorrow. Whoa, he was better than I thought he would be. I agree. There aren't many men in the world willing to take that step. Really? Hmm, yeah. I think we should investigate. Sustained. What kind of investigation? What are you up to? By investigation, you mean spying on us? At least you made it less conspicuous if you were going to spy on us, you morons. Hmm, anyway, he looks different to me compared to yesterday. I wonder if these are his everyday clothes. Unexpectedly, but these clothes fit him. The thing is, it took me a long time to choose what to wear, because I wanted to look younger. I hope I picked the right style. Ha ha ha, yes. Hmm, did I really take that long to look at him? Miss Jung, tell me, how old are you? Well, I'm 27 years old. Um, 27 years old, I see. And I am. I already know how old you are. Siu Hyun told me that. So you were looking for information about me at the expense of other people? Not at all. We were just talking about her parents and then we talked about you. She mentioned that you are four years younger than her father. Ah, my brother. They come out of the elevator. Would you like to get a little closer? Um, isn't that the reason we're meeting? To get to know each other better? Well, then I suggest we drop all the formalities. Come on, you can do whatever you want. Okay, he won. What? You said I can do whatever I want. Hey, not so fast, okay? But you can also call me unofficially. No, never. I think I'll stick with Du Jung, Mr. Kang. Hmm, if you say so. Never in my life. This is so embarrassing. He won, wait. What? Du Jung Kang went somewhere. Our secret agents are watching from around the corner. Hello, friends of He Won. Oh, hello. Since you happen to follow us all the way to the movie theater, in that case, would you like to join us? Why not? What idiots they are. Why did they have to make up that tracking thing if they wanted to spend time with us? Oh, He Won, I didn't expect to see you here. What a meeting. Please take it all off. You're embarrassing me. Is everything ready? Yes, please come in. On the table are their cola, popcorn, and another drink on ice. Everyone is seated in the theater. Wait, did you buy this whole movie theater? No. Then why is it so empty? I just told the manager I wanted an empty auditorium for three hours. Oh, I completely forgot. The movie theater in question is in the Dahan Group Company chain, and he is the vice president of it. So I assumed he wouldn't buy out the whole movie theater. Of course. Rich people are just on a whole other level. Get close to him. Hmm. Now for some reason I feel like he's even more distant from me. He won. What movie would you rather watch? It's nothing special. Just pick one you like. Okay. What about the seats? Comfortable or do you want me to ask you to replace them? No need. I'm fine. How's your drink? I took care beforehand and decided that a soda wouldn't work for you and asked for a fruit smoothie. Oh and I ordered regular popcorn. It's okay, really? 
He one likes cheese popcorn. She also prefers mangoes to strawberries. Hmm, how's that? What? No, it's okay. The thing is, Min Wook just. Wait, you're the one who told me you wanted to get to know each other, didn't you? You do realize that little things like that are very important. They can even cause a rift in a relationship, right? So anyway, he won. Hey, Min Wook, stop it. I don't think you should interfere so much in their relationship. Ah, okay. I meant well. Stop eating so much popcorn, or your stomach will be full until the next meal. I'll eat as much popcorn as I want. Okay, especially since he one is a big girl and can take care of herself. Yes, you're right. They sat in silence for a while. Mr. Vice President, would you like something else? Bring me some cheese popcorn and a mango smoothie, please, and also, put on the most popular movie. Yes, sir. Do Jung Kang looks at Hee Won. She doesn't look at him, but he keeps looking at her all the time. Do Jung Kang is probably starting to get more and more attached to Hee Won. We'll see what happens next.